Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying Cyber War Neon City. I'm still in it up to my neck in uh, Steam Next Fest demos and this is one of them. It's probably early and so therefore not representative of the final product and we're gonna give it a go. So I saw a tweet there. Is it, why do we always have three save slots? It's a, it's a good it's a good point. Why? It's interesting. Why not infinite? Hey, NT8000. NT8000, can you hear me? What a name. How is the situation near tech, uh, tree tech? Not tech tree. <laughs> um, something terrible has happened. Monkeys are everywhere. Okay, so yeah, the lore of this game is that um, monkey clones became uber smart and then they became cyber monkeys and now they are at war with humanity. So-called patient zero. Correct. To make matters worse, it looks like the Neon Troopers are being hacked. Without them, we won't stand a chance. I don't know how, but these monkeys have become very intelligent. My team, the Rebel Knights, is already on their way. They are few, but they are the most efficient. Uh, as the leader, as for the leader, I'll handle him. Okay. Hurry up. They're already at the main gate. This game is uh, what you call, uh, what, what is used to be called camp, you know? I'm gonna skip this now. I would like to, uh, I would like to experience the game, <laughs> the gameplay. Um, I mean, I'm sure the story is gonna be good. If, it, if I was playing through the campaign um, for real, I would probably uh, hang out through the story. But seeing as the story is uh, cyber monkeys became smart and there's an uber war, I, I, I think I'm good for now. I do like the look of this a lot. Wow, the city's in chaos. I didn't think things had gotten so out of control. I better hurry up before it's too late. So we've got uh, maybe kind of a familiar nuclear throne-esque feel. Nice music. I don't know if we have bullets, like uh, ammo we have to watch out for. Who the heck is playing hopscotch in this disaster? Go ahead, Captain. All right, I will. You can let us take care of the rear. Yeah, you will. Leave those damn monkeys to me. Okay, I'm, I'm waiting to shoot something. Okay, we can dash over spaces. Whoops. Oh, that was a fun little animation. So some of these spaces... Oh. Yeah, uh, this is a... It's a real gaming journalist moment, if you know what I mean. Okay. Oh, that's just gonna block my path from, from return. Yo, it's Mega Monkey. Some enemies can defend themselves from your shots. Create an opening and hit them. Let's let's uh, play some hopscotch, honestly. So you can dash around them to, to do some damage. That was our first enemy. It took a lot longer to kill than probably it was was intended. I do, I do really like the style that we're going for here. It's not, um, the, the format of this game is not what I was expecting at all. I was kind of expecting, not, I, definitely not roguelike, but like, um, a bit more, I don't know, immediacy in the combat. Like, I, I was almost expecting a kind of a beat-em-up with guns, if that makes sense. Maybe, maybe I'm uh, judging, maybe this is a tutorial and not representative of what the actual gameplay is going to seem like. So you're the one responsible for all this chaos in the city? The zoo is on the other side, furball. Why would an ant dare to challenge a mountain? Your courage is disproportionate to your odds of victory. I think it depends. If the ant has a machine gun, then what do you want? There's something in the building that I need to find, and you're in my way. Why not give it a try, funny man? You wish it, your wish is my command. Okay. Classic. Classic boss. Oh. 
homing missiles, huh? Ooh, 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 ow. We can only dodge a certain number of times. I think I'm supposed to shoot those, not dodge around them. What? Uh, is that full health again? What? Oh, I gotta say the animations are like really top tier. These monkey lads? Yeah, they're monkey lads. Ouch. I don't know where my health is. I see the uh, boss's health, but where's my health? Also, how how many monkey friends are we spawning? Because if it's constant like that... Okay, yo, I need a health bar, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Was I meant to lose this? Humans and their obsession with control wanting to decide over everything and everyone. Man has strength in his words, but his words had no strength here. War is relentless and humans no longer dictate the rules. You stole something from me that is irreplaceable. You took it from me. Your sins need to be washed away. Your tears will be like the rain, assaulting on the barren ground. I will steal from you what you stole from me. Dang. Fairly dark opening for our, our camp little uh, shooty game. Cyber monkeys took control of te tree tech and all of Neon City fell under siege. The monkeys dominated everything and some survivors managed to hide in secret underground facilities. One of these shelters is located just below the tree tech tower known as level zero. Life on the surface of Neon City became unviable for non-simians. As the only solution to move forward, the survivors began adapting scraps and other resources to rebuild the routine of their lives. Beliana, a former tree tech researcher and creator of the Express Cloning 3D Printer, has a plan to end the war. And with the help of Egan, Egan, they gathered enough parts and materials to rebuild a prototype. Prototype worked, but the printout did not come out as expected. Egan is a chicken. Something in the laboratory recognized the presence of the printed clone and awakened. The clone seemed to have a single flaw, the absence of its left arm. The mysterious shark-shaped weapon recognized compatibility with the clone. Yeah? Attaching perfectly in place of the missing arm. The incomplete clone became an improvised solution to solve the problems. What, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, like, I feel, uh, I feel numb. With a, from an, an absolute bombardment of absurdity. Well, I can see it now. You have a very special gun attached to your body. After a long time of inactivity, it seems that the gun has chosen you. Every time you are printed, you will need to choose a new slot for your shark gun. Sorry, is this a roguelike? Let's start doing this right now. Choose a slot for your gun. Just checking. Action roguelike. Okay. It is a roguelike. Drone that follows you and attacks enemies. Every five shots, the next one will be critical. Shot now passes through solid objects. I'm assuming uh, maybe in the full version of this game, we'll have a bit more like variation in, in what the gun looks like depending on the style Let me choose what is this lad I can improvise some things around here okay skill tree unlock the skill tree for for upgrades okay so yeah all right we 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 are going somewhat uh, enter the gungeon with this we have a tech tree oh no this is a this is our stock standard um, choose a path towards the boss. And I mean, this outside of like some choices here, it feels like there's these first two or three choices are completely irrelevant. Like they're all exactly the same. Maybe I'm wrong on that one, but I've grown to, to have kind of a very cynical eye towards that pathway because if it doesn't like actually provide meaningful choices then it is really just like a everyone did this and so therefore so will i what are we fighting 
extra speed, fire rate, but less ex, uh, less, less HP. Enemies drop 9% junks. Lighter joints decreases gun fire rate, but deals damage. I think it means increase fire rate. What? N nothing about this makes sense. All right, we'll take it. When unlocked, the, the door will display a green padlock and you can open it by interacting. Okay, so yeah, this is a bit more representative of the, the kind of game I expected. Um, I feel like that level ended prematurely because there was like other enemies on the floor. Listen, again, um, you know, this not representative of the final game. This is an early version of the game. I just want to make that clear because I, I really don't want it to seem like I'm ripping on the game. Because I, I understand that it's, you know, it's not going to be flawless right now. Um, we'll increase our damage. Is there more things to fight or is that it? I think those are just there to kind of like hurry us up into the next zone. So now, you know, we can, we'll pick, I mean, I guess we'll pick this. I, I have... I have made decisions. So like what what's the theming in this game? We got cyber monkeys and then our dude is a clone. He seems to have some monkey vibes. I'm not sure if that's true or not. And then a shark gun. Seems odd. Um, we'll take extra speed, sure. Some of these upgrades, I know this like isn't fair, but um, kind of give me survivor vibes. They're very straight up upgrades and I don't necessarily mind that. I only have one, okay. We can go to the shop. And again, neither of these decisions actually have any agency at all. Like there's n no difference. It's fine. We'll we'll see the shop. Movement speed. Take more junk when you die. Every five shots, the next one will be critical. I don't have enough for any of this. Okay. Oh, you're you're. Uh, I heard that the printer worked. It's really impressive. I collect different objects. Some may be useful to you. You know, I'm. <sighs> Maybe I'm off base here, but this game really gives me Nexus vibes. Um, I don't think anyone's going to know what I'm talking about, but including the devs, but um, Nexus is like a really amazing comic series. If you haven't read it, I definitely recommend it, but it's it's just got very similar vibes. Um, it's it's a little bit pulpy now and, uh, you know, like, I don't know if it's aged well, but I think the art is still amazing. And um, it's it's a really good comic series. It's just a fun little kind of pulp comic. But um, yeah, it's I mean it's about an assassin who gets dreams about people that they're they have to kill. And if they don't kill them, then they just like suffer immensely. But it's got you know really engaging, compelling characters, and uh, like I say, a really decent art style. And this game really reminds me of that. I don't know if maybe the um, devs are influenced by it in some ways. Or just by the uh, the kind of general era of like pulp comics. I do dig the style, uh, and I'm I'm enjoying the gameplay. Um, I don't think it's particularly original. Like I feel like I have played exactly this game a lot of times. In fact, it does just kind of feel like Enter the Gungeon. But that being said, I mean, you know, for those who have played Enter the Gungeon a lot, you might just want a reskin, honestly, and uh, I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that. Maybe I'm off base calling it a reskin, but it is really giving me Gungeon vibes. Okay, what's going on here? Mama. Um, what are we shooting here? Why can't I fire? Okay. I don't know. What is going on? 
I, I straight up don't know what's going on. I was firing and it I was taking damage and I have no idea why. Um Oh that that kind of really puts me off, I won't lie. Alright, let's uh let's of course check out the meta progression, see what we've got in in the line of of that. Every five shots, the next one will be critical. Yeah, I mean, that still seems like a good one to pick. Hi, Printer. Can I call you Printer? Is that my name? Well, since you don't have speakers yet, then you can't talk. But you can't understand this, right? At least I hope so. I changed the printer's algorithm so that you will always be printed with clothes from now on. You walking around naked wouldn't look good. Uh, any... By the way, take 100 junks to spend on the architect. So you can unlock your skill tree. Go now and talk to the architect. Okay. Okay, we got our skill tree. What does our skill tree look like? Repair drone. Didn't mean to do that. This is your skill tree. You can use skill points to upgrade various aspects. As you don't have skill points yet, I'll give you three now. Use them now to unlock a new gun type. It's a shotgun and it's very powerful. Very good. Notice that new upgrades have appeared in your skill tree. The more you distribute skill points, the stronger your skill tree will get and the more upgrades will appear. Now use the remaining points to improve other aspects. Armor, probably. Yeah. Can we do that again? Sure. All right, more armor. Um, skills fall. I'm not sure how to equip the shotgun. No matter how many deaths you encounter, you will always be printed back. Okay. All right, I mean, let's, uh, let's give it another go. Okay, there's uh, some more stuff going on up here. Let's let's check that out. Do I have the shotgun? No, I don't have the shotgun, so I don't know how to equip the shotgun. There definitely seem to be a very like immediate uh, difficulty climb between like fighting enemies and then fighting the boss because these enemies I basically didn't take any damage and then the boss I'm like suddenly taking damage for even trying to fire my gun trigger that increases the damage done by blue but be careful it can be unstable and cause some short circuits in you okay well maybe that's what it was so let's not take that and of course, uh, you know, my least favorite upgrade of all time is here's the here's the upgrade that lets you get more meta progression points from enemies, which is just like, yeah, I mean, I'd rather spend points to improve the run I'm on, not the future run. I mean, the, you know, the the moment to moment gameplay and combat is actually pretty fun. I wouldn't mind just having more of this. I kind of wish it was there was just like an actual, uh, you know, dungeon, like gun, a gungeon esque dungeon or Isaac esque dungeon. I am really not a fan of this path thing that I've seen like a bazillion times before. What do we get? Plus 20 HP. Is that permanent? 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 Okay, we get some more life. We're getting a lot of life right now. I feel like that is also permanent or not. Maybe temporary. I don't know. Need to, need to have a bit more information on some of the stuff that's going on. Uh, again, well, I actually can't afford some stuff here. So drone that follows you and attacks enemies earn extra junk. Let's get a drone. Let's see what that looks like Okay, two more levels and then the boss I 
I'm willing, I mean, I'm willing to say or admit, um, hope that, um, the actual level select is temporary just for now, just to, so that we have a method of like picking levels and, and seeing, seeing what the gameplay is like. Um, and then maybe when the actual game is like 1.0, there'll be something a bit more interesting, more health drops, more coins, uh, more damage. I do think that these upgrades are a little bit basic. And I don't mean like I want them to also have flaws. I never mean that. I mean, like, I, I feel like they should have a little bit more depth to them. Did I move over this? This seemed like a hole in the ground. Uh, that slow-mo actually made me take damage and uh, Okay <laughs> <laughs> I just selected an upgrade I didn't mean to Which is really funny because it's actually been very difficult to select upgrades up until now. I I do think it's hilarious that like What what are we fighting here? I'm gonna assume that touching the back wall is what was making me take damage. Oh God All right, we did it. We killed mama mama gorilla What is that what is They really went for it in this game, huh Flora commander defeated and we got a memory Floppy disk? Who uses that nowadays? This is very strange. I think it contains important information because it's encrypted. These are such personal information that it feels like a lost memory. Well, I'll decrypt and activate this memory to better understand it. Can a man challenge time? The cycle happens once again. Some go away and others come and those who remain become more spect uh, mere spectators. There are always those who do not accept reality. Those knowledge and technology, uh, through te knowledge and technology, a man committed to his goal can break the rules imposed by the universe. Great ambition brings great consequences, but what if the consequences are irreparable? Patient zero has awakened and now nothing will be as it was before. Thank you for playing so far. More features and levels will be available in the future version of the game. I mean, yeah. I, um, I feel like I'm saying this a lot these days. I, I think that this game does have a lot of potential. I'd like to see a bit more depth added. Um, I re obviously I really like the art style and I do like the music. I like the execution and the polish is here, but I definitely think that mechanically it's a little rough around the edges. Um, but that being said, I, I, I think that I'm actually quite optimistic for this game. Um, because as it is now, it seems very early. And so, you know, with a, with a bit of polish, with a, with a bit of care and, uh, you know, um, elbow grease, I think it could actually be something really special. I think it could be even a contender, um, for like a mainstay roguelike. Um, I, I like, I like what I'm seeing. There's a, quite a lot of, uh, novelty and unique style in this in game. And I'm, I'm interested to see where they take it and where they go with it. But anyway, Cyber War, Neon City. Have you played it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.